This is marine permaculture invented by um, Dr. Brian Van Herzen, a plasma physicist, who was flying over the Greenland ice sheet for a friend, a glaciologist, and who was counting milk ponds. And as he flew over in 2001 and 2002 and three and four and five and six, he, he noticed that the ponds became lakes and the lakes became very l big lakes and rivers. He could see on a year-to-year -year basis how quickly the Greenland ice sheet was melting. And from that, he decided to change his whole career. He worked with Pixar and Google, he was making lots of money, and he stopped everything and invented this marine permaculture. 99% of the uh, tropical oceans are marine deserts. There's, there's no life in them at all. Right? And what's happening in the oceans, 93% of the heat from global warming is being absorbed in the oceans. And it's creating these thermal blankets. And these thermal blankets are preventing basically the natural thermoclines and current cycles to occur. They're being suppressed by the heat. What marine permaculture does is put in frames. And they're just frameworks for, as you can see, for kelp algae, uh, uh, <clears throat> phytoplankton, etc. And not phytoplankton, but the, uh, uh, the area for phytoplankton. And these are PET frames, recycled PET, that don't break down in salt water. And there are these tubes that go down to the thermocline, 200, 300 feet down, these cold, nutrient-laden waters that are there. And the actuation of these things is by the rise and fall of the water. And it brings the water up in these tubes and then spreads it out into these frames. And with, this is what you see within three, four weeks, literally. I've done it again and again. And you see phytoplankton, zooplankton. You see algae. You see kelp. Nothing sequesters CO2 faster on Earth than kelp, by the way. Number one, over bamboo, everything. And you see feeder fish and forage fish. In other words, you get this, you get this trophic cascade of, of life is what oceans do. Oceans will regenerate so quickly. They did one in Hawaii within six weeks. You had whale sharks swimming around it. And, and so what it does is it takes out the carbonic acid, it deacidifies obviously then the water, it uh, reverses coral bleaching, it produces uh, protein for fisheries, for fisher folk, um, and um, it really, it costs something to put in, but once it's in, um, it is just like, you know, sinking cars and, you know, down, people drop cars in the water and they produce these beautiful fisheries, you know. Uh, th these do the same thing, but in a much more intelligent way. Th this has a, could have a tremendous impact uh, in terms of global warming.